Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I am going to show you on how to paint from reference photos. So I'm going to use this photo plus this photo to create a wonderful still life painting. Okay guys, so let's start with adding the background colors. So I'm going to visualize first we're going to put the light, so I'm going to put it on the top right part. Okay. And now we're going to do the sketching first. And I'm going to do the sketching with the, the sketch of the, of the books. Okay, so we just, have to, we just have to follow the pattern. Or the, the perspective of the book, guys. So I'm going to do like something like this. Okay. And that's it. So you have another books here, but we should be always careful, guys, with our perspective. And now I'm going to start um, sketching the the seashell. So you just have to follow what we see on on our reference photo. It doesn't matter, guys, if it's perfect or I told something off. As long as it's the proportion is good, that's fine. Okay. So I'm going to erase first the 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 sketch, some some unnecessary lines using the wet brush. Okay. And after the sketching, I'm going to start painting now. And let's mix first with the with the little um, orange color. Okay. So I'm going to put it here, guys, because there's some. Uh, let's just say that the uh, shell is a little thin. Okay, so I'm going to start now adding the highlights. So I'm going to put um, a yellowish highlights, guys. Also remember, remember this that we're going to put a yellowish highlights. And of course, we need to f we need to visualize where um, natural light came from. Came from. Okay. So of course, we need to put all the highlights on the top left, top right. I'm sorry, guys. Top right. Okay. And on the full tutorial, guys, you can see it, um, a real time, um, a real time video. So it will, it won't be as fast as this. Okay, so this art, I'm going to add a little um, grayish color here. So this part, guys, should be um, a little grayish because uh, um, the direct sunlight does not hit this part. Okay, so I'm going to. Mix for a little bluish color for our um, bouncing light or some bluish reflection. Okay, something like that, guys. So of course, I'm going to put it all on the right side or below the below the and the seashell. So this part, guys, should be a little off or a little. The color should be a little dull, some or a little bluish or grayish because there's no light um, hitting this part. And I'm going to put some bluish light on this on this part, okay. And I'm going to mix for a uh, darker color, guys, for our shades. So I'm going to put some shades or darker um, color on the on the hole of the of the seashell, okay. And some little with this. Again, guys, on the full tutorial, you can see it clearly. Okay, and now we're going to put some bluish light here. Which is um, bouncing from the from the left side, and you see you can see clearly, guys, that the light is uh, the blue the blue color or the light blue color is light lighter than the background, and you can see it clearly that it has a brighter light, bluish light here. Okay, so it will it will create more dramatic effect, guys, on our painting, and if you compare it to the to the reference it doesn't have any bluish light there so I, I'm just I'm making it my own and I want it to be a little dramatic using this bluish effect bluish light effect color or something like that okay and now let's add more highlights on the top right part of our seashell so let's just add more white guys on our 
on the yellow color or some yellowish orange color so just add more white on that and you can put it directly and make it as the highlights okay so something like this okay okay so just use your um, imagination guys and visualize where you're gonna put the lights in a way it's not it's not always perfect but it will make you um, comfortable or yeah something like that you will you will know where you're gonna put the lights and it will it will be a good practice guys for you to learn the proper way in adding the lights on your painting okay so that's it so it doesn't matter guys if you follow the the textures or patterns of the of the seashell as long as it will a uh, little uh, the same or similar it will be okay so it will be your creativity creativity guys and you will be the one to decide and now we're going to add more white to add um, more highlights okay and here we're going to add some details like um, a little orange over the orange color so that you can see we can put um, a darker tone really really stone on our on the seashell and it will actually add um, a more realistic effect guys on the seashell okay so something like th that guys adding more um, lines or whatever um, I'm just following the 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 reference okay and now let's start adding the highlights on the on the books and I'm going to put again guys the natural light on the left side no I mean the right side the right side top right so I'm adding more yellow is a light color or highlights on the left or right side okay so as you see guys um, i'm adding more highlights okay and here i'm going to put more um more bluish um light guys on the on the right side so here on the left side i'm sorry <laughs> on the left side and as you observe guys i may make it a little bluish or bluish gray color so again guys it is coming from the bluest um, reflection coming from the left side okay and on my reference guys there are, there are no bluest color in there so I am actually um, experimenting on this part okay and I'm going to put some highlights on the top of the book so so it's just something like this I'm going to put a lighter blue or light blue color right here and always visualize guys we're gonna put the lights so I am that's why I'm adding the the arrows where the lights striking or hitting the the books so here guys we're gonna add a little darker blue color here again guys you can see the full um, details the full tutorial on our on the on the full um, real-time uh, tutorial on this video and you can find it on my channel and also, we, um, we should not forget the the shadows here. That it should be dark blue, guys. To be darker blue or sim almost um, similar to black, but not black, guys. Okay, and I'm adding more highlights here using the light blue color. Okay. That's it. Okay, and also here so always think guys where you're gonna put the highlights always visual visualize so that you will know where you're gonna put it it will help you create a realistic effect and of course here the green color the green highlights so again guys add the lightest green color or lighter green color so on the real time tutorial guys okay you will know how to mix the lighter green color everything there will be a very in a very slow uh, process or progress so here guys we can add more um, light greens and always visualize so we're gonna put the, the shades or the shadow and here we're gonna put the shadows which is the dark green okay that's it 
and also here the, the details of the book okay so I, I want you to practice this kind of um, effect guys that's what, so that you will know how to create your own um, painting so here guys we're gonna put more um, highlights on the on the floor so I'm adding a lighter brown here as you see in the screen so just um, brown guys with uh, uh, with white so that it will become light brown okay so that's it and here guys on this um, left part we're going to put some bluish color because uh, also as what I have told you a while ago it has some bluish reflected light so it will become a little bluish but don't put it too much blue guys um, add a little brown on it um, experiment just experiment guys uh, to make it more natural or to make it more realistic you should um, make, uh, do some trial and error like what you see on, uh, on me on, or what I do on the, on the, on the tutorial okay and here we're going to, I'm going to add some brownish color here on the books guys so that it will become more natural okay on the actually on the, on the leaf on the left part of the book okay so I think it looks realistic now and I'm going to do some more uh, retouch okay and here guys on the on the on the background part I'm going to add a little bluish color on this part okay, so that it will become more um, more like it will become um, I'm going to add a little bluish light on this so it become more natural okay and of course some retouching I hope guys you get something out of this short version of the full real-time tutorial and please hit like, add some comments, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Have a nice day and God bless you all.